let's stop. I hate this. Let's stop doing this in the face of people, please. I detest the sound. I'm chewing gum, for those who don't know, just in case. So I'm gonna try my best. <clears throat> Anywho, welcome to this. This is a construction work. It is here to stay. It's a pain in my ass every day, but we move. Okay, you know what? Move. I'm all for human progression and technology. But god damn! <laughs> I knew! Anyways, let's get into the story real quick. If you guys are new around here, hi, 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 welcome to our channel. If you're not new, you know the premise of this um, story time, little series that we do. Today is also a Love Naggers story. Love Naggers is a, a TV show on Netflix where Korean MCs are reacting to dating stories messy. of all sorts. Messy, 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 messy! And so I was like, you know what, this thing doesn't have subtitles. Let me go and spill the tea to our friends on YouTube because I watch this all the time so it's very juicy to me So if you like juicy stories, let's do it. Now today's story, I'm not gonna lie If you're emotional like me, you're gonna get a little angry okay. You know when your your blood is bubbling up? Boiling Yeah, get ready for that. But anywho, the victim today's story is A young girl la fleur de l'âge darling <laughs> So sorry, she's very young, which means our age. Okay. Period. She's very really. Yeah. She's like you know mid twenties, whatever. We're just gonna consider her mid twenties. It's fine. I still feel twenty two, honey, and I don't plan on getting older. So I'm not saying I'm gonna die or anything. I'm just. Oh my god, this is so terrible. What are you <laughs> talking about? She's boiling. <laughs> Jesus. Come back. I have too many thin trains of thoughts in this. You know how Whoa. you're like chaotic. Chaotic introverts. You know me, I know you. You normal people, you have to feel it. Anyway, so. No, but you can keep those thoughts in your head. We Intrusive thoughts always win I don't for me. Hear it. <laughs> so, the victim is a girl who's in her mid 20s. She's dating this guy, um, and they're about to get married. But because of a certain issue, she is now contemplating whether or not she should go through with the wedding or not. Dun, dun, dun. So, we go back, okay? She's in school, and she actually graduates from high school, and she goes to university now. Now, if you know, in Korea, the whole bullying thing is kind of like a little crazy. It's a little, it's kind of big, especially compared to other places, even though bullying exists everywhere. Here, it's particularly, the way it's portrayed anyway, because I was never there, the way it's portrayed is particularly like unfair like it makes you like oh my god like so bad so when she goes to um university she's trying to like go on the new start because university is a big place there's new people about now we have a flashback of her when she was in high school the girl was bullied every day and there is obviously this typical like mean girl with her her soufif like how do you say soufif like her the girls like minions. the girls and her, her minions exactly her little minions just like literally bullying her all the day, like all the time like literally she would have a project that she would do like a paper or something they would corner her on the in the hallways like look for her stuff try to take her money take her paper like put it like like rip it up so that she wouldn't have an excuse and now she would like get like a zero from her teacher she would they would like follow her to the bathroom and like try to put her head in like the the bathroom aye, thing aye. push her into the bathroom hit her all that stuff like literally ruined her life every time she would do something there is obviously at that time they also had like online communities and she would go in the community and just like spread rumors about her i don't know what the hell she had against her yeah it was insane one day the girl decided to like have a little bit of courage and when one the or the girl was they ran into each other and of course the girl couldn't leave her alone she would like be on her bathroom and be like where are you going you blah, blah, blah. and she was like oh my god like why do you have like what do you have against me no 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 like what's wrong like what did i ever do to you and she was making valid points because she never did anything wrong to this girl like she, this girl doesn't know her like you don't know me what's what's your problem yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you think the girl told her is it something about a guy? My boyfriend likes you or something like that. Is it? No, it ain't. Okay. She know. said, your entire existence annoys me. But be that's what I'm asking. Why? No reason. Stupid. Okay. That's what I call evil. 
you're just evil. You see someone who's a little weaker, she can't really talk, she doesn't, she doesn't have a lot of friends, and you basically decide to like go after her with everything you have, you're evil. Period. So anyways, the girl is really like lonely, she's really having issues, and the thing is, especially if you're like even a little bit sensitive and you don't really know how to um, like defend yourself, you're gonna have like drastic thoughts, right? Mm. So you know she's like starting the spiral and she's about to do something really stupid, blah blah blah. Pass over that. And then she I don't know if the guy stopped her, like she ran into a guy, I don't know if he stopped her or he like talked to her or something, but there's this one guy who was like nice to her and was like, Hey, like what's up? Like what's wrong with you? Blah blah blah. And she kind of felt like, oh, I'm seen by someone, you know, someone is actually nice to me, they don't hate me. Because everybody else was like following the path of the mean girl. So she starts seeing this guy every day. She starts seeing him every day. Uh, he's always nice to her, he always says hi to her. And fast forward, they begin dating. So now she kind of has like a new reason to show up in school because she's like, yeah, like I don't really care anymore. Like I'm just gonna make myself scarce and like go on a date with my boyfriend. Is he not a guy from school? He goes to like a, u a nearby university. So she graduates and now she's entering the university and she's like super excited. She's like, oh, like I'm in a new place, you know, I have this new boyfriend, everything is going well. So they're dating and you can tell like she still has kind of trauma, but she's doing much mm -hmm. better. She's doing much better. And so they start dating and it gets more and more serious. And you know, as they're on the date, he proposes to her and oh, wow. she's really happy. Like it takes like you know, you go fast forward in time. Yeah. So it takes a while. So, so he proposes older. to her. Yeah, like, because university, and so around the time where you graduate, okay, like, okay, 24 okay. or something, okay, okay. proposes to her, and so they've been together for a while. Uh, he obviously loves her. He obviously treats her really well. So she's ecstatic, like, you know, very happy, very happy. The families meet. Like, it's all good to go on the right direction. So obviously, he starts introducing her to more of, like, her, his side of the family, and she does the same. And especially, he specifically looks up to his big brother a lot. Like, he looks up to his big brother, like, so much. So he's so excited for them to meet. So they have, like, a whole meeting. Like, they have a whole, like, organized, like, in the cafe or whatever. And he's like, oh, my God, I can't wait for you to, like, meet my brother. Da -da -da. And so the brother shows up. He's this tall guy, like, really cool. And he seems to be really sweet. So she's like, oh, my God, yeah, this is great. I'm entering this amazing family. And then the dude is like, oh... Um, my girlfriend is on her uh, way. My girlfriend is on her way, and as they're talking, they realize that they're gonna get married with the girlfriend. So they're gonna get married first, cause like here it's kind of like a tradition, like the big brother get married first. So it's gonna be a bit before their wedding, and she's actually pregnant. She's pregnant. So. Obviously, who walks in? The fucking bully. Ah, oh, what a oh, tragedy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The fucking bully walks in, yeah. and she's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Hi!" Da, 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 da. And obviously, they lock eyes. So, if you've never been like bullied really severely, you might not understand. But I feel like for someone who's been through a lot for years, you will have like a physical reaction. Yeah. And she's looking at her like start shaking oh, she's terrified like actually terrified and so she's so like scared and the girl obviously recognizes her and she's like oh hi it's been such a long time like i haven't seen she doesn't pretend not to know her she's like oh my god it's such been a long time have you been oh my god i can't believe you made like this no, no, no. so she tries to keep it in and she's like oh then you see because obviously now she's the girlfriend to the big brother which here in korea makes a lot of like it has a lot of meaning because now she's Hyungnim, not even only she's Hyungnim, which is like big sister and you kind of owe her like a lot of respect especially if she ends up getting married with the, with the guy so she's like trying to keep it in she's just kind of like at the edge of comfort basically she's not comfortable but the meeting goes well still and the girl the the bully the ex-bully i guess she's really nice to her whatever and everything goes well mm -hmm. but the minute they leave mm -hmm. she's like uh-uh no 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 like she's not in words but like her body's like, mm -mm, like nah and her boyfriend's like what's wrong like what is wrong with you she's like no nothing blah, blah. that's the first 
part where I was annoyed. I was yeah, like, what do you mean it. nothing? Just say it. This is your future husband, and you can't tell him oh. this. You can't say anything. You're going to be bullied your whole life. Like, what's wrong with you? What do you mean nothing? Are you insane? So she says nothing, Maybe and I'm like, oh. Yeah, well, clearly. But that's like, why I'm, like, not trying to knock her, but. Jesus. Ugh, anyway, yeah. Would you say something? Not I think mean, not being bull- bullied, yes. But yeah. in that situation, I don't know. But right now, of obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up at some point, yeah? yeah? So I'd rather say it now, and yeah. then we'll figure it out. But we don't know how, like, the, what you actually feel in that situation. But, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, she doesn't say anything, but she's obviously shaken by the whole ordeal. And she's starting to spiral. She's like, I cannot be in this family with this person. I cannot share the same Ooh. family. And so she's obviously getting distant and more distant with her boyfriend. But she's like, she's so traumatized. She's like, no, I would rather give up this whole entire thing Ooh. than be in the same family as her. But me, I'm like, oh, and you're letting her win? Like, you're crazy. But obviously, again, from a standpoint of somebody who hasn't been mm. bullied, it's easy to say, right? So her boyfriend obviously can catch on that something is not, you know, all right. And he keeps asking, keep asking. And she's like, you know what? I think we should rethink this whole marriage thing. Mm. And he's like, what? What do you mean rethink? Like, what are we talking about here? And he's so panicked. And he's like, no, no, no. You can't tell me that up until last weekend you were fine and happy. And now you want everything. You need to tell me what's going on. So at some point, she lets it all out. Like, she started crying. And she tells him about everything that happened in school and how she was a terrible bully. She would do everything against her. She tried to ruin her life. She tried to ruin her like school career she tried to ruin everything and she hated her and she doesn't know if she can be in the same place even in the same room as her so imagine every holiday being with her Whoa. when they have kids like no and she's like can't you convince like your 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 brother can't you let him know and like convince him that she's no good and he shouldn't marry her? he's like yeah but she's pregnant because so the the minute she's pregnant it's sealed like you can't they have to get married like in korea it's still like this if you have if you have a baby on the way before whatever you have to get married ah yeah 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 so i'm thinking you as the future husband you need to do something because you need to protect your wife i feel like he needs to tell the brother definitely but even so it's not in your hands like it's in the brother's hand and if the brother decides to like it's not a big deal then for me if the brother decides it's not a big deal he's a dick if you tell them the ex- the extent of which she was bullied, yeah, but if you're delusional enough to be like, I mean, she's a mother of my child, yeah. and you love, you're gonna be like, yeah, but she changed. So can we actually like condemn somebody for the rest of their life for a mistake they've made? That's a mistake. Every time they, every time they say that, right? So there is a way for him to to say like, no, it's not a big deal, that big of a deal, and then what? Ah, oh, that's terrible. So, the boyfriend takes it upon his health himself to um cre- like organize a meeting with just them two and the brother okay which is nice and he's like yeah we're gonna tell him everything we're gonna tell him like with no like no restraint we're gonna tell him everything and it's gonna be fine um even though she's the she's pregnant like she shouldn't get away with this or whatever <laughs> so they're planning on telling her but then she's like no i'm too scared it's gonna be like scandal with the parents and everything so the boyfriend is like okay well in this case, if you're gonna if you're gonna move on from this, you have to receive an apology. Like you, at least she has to apologize to you for everything she did to you. If you're gonna continue like this, just for the sake of the parents, because she started, you know, she was like, no, the parents, no, no, it's gonna be scandal. So they were like, no, you need to get an apology from her. Then that's the right thing to do. That's the right thing to do. Like the minimum thing that you can do, you get an apology. I don't like where he's going. You can even get that anyway. Continue, <laughs> girl. So, um, they contact the girl this time, not the brother. They don't tell so anything. They, oh, they didn't tell Because they're like, girl? we don't want this to spread right. into a family. You're right. Let's keep it on under wraps. Mm. Since it's been a long time, she's going to apologize sincerely. And then she's going to agree never to bother you again. And we're going to keep the meeting to minimal. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So, they call her. And they set up a meeting in the same cafe that they met the same time. So, they're sitting there waiting. And she arrives. <clears throat> and she's like... Uh, Oh my god, hi! Like she's, you know, you if you don't know her, you wouldn't tell anything because she's like, oh my god, hi! Da, 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 and she sits down, and so obviously the girl, the victim of the story, is obviously mustering up the courage to start telling her like, hey, this is what you did was wrong, and she knew why she was coming anyway, 
And so she's like, <laughs> she just looks like she has not a worry in the world. Because literally, we're pretty much threatening to expose you if you don't yeah, apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's like this, and then before the, the boyfriend can even open his mouth, he's ready to be like, alright, you need to like apologize to my girl, because what the hell. Guess who walks in? The big brother. So? He walks in. And he's like, oh, it's Hagia. <laughs> but yeah, I let him know like uh, that we had a meeting. They said they wanted me to apologize to her because apparently I was kind of mean to her in school. So yeah, I came to apologize. Uh, B-I-T-C-H. So she's minimizing She the told the boyfriend who they didn't tell to it on purpose because they knew it was going to be a scandal. She told him so that they wouldn't be able to attack her now. Why wouldn't I be able to attack you now? Because now the big brother, did, did the young is here. Are you insane? What? And it worked because they were like, oh my god, now that the brother is here, like the girl, obviously, you can tell from her personality, from the giggle, she's very like kind of scared and like she doesn't have a lot of courage. And then the girl is like, oh, and she tells it as if it was a really small thing. She's like, oh yeah, they asked me to apologize. They wanted an apology because apparently I was mean to her, which if you don't know, I will let you know the context. If you're demanding an apology from someone older than you, it's considered rude. Just so you know. It's considered non manners. So she's ah! like. At it's not finished. It's worse. At it get worse. Wait. No. Wait. First of all. First of all. Ah! <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second. That's when the, the, the fiance is supposed to step in. The, fia the younger one? Yeah. Yep. Like, how is that enough? For me to be like, oh, I, I want this Because one. now the late the girl, the 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 bull, the ex bully is like, oh yeah, I was a loving mean in school to her, so yeah. And then she turns around and she's like, whoever, like, well, I don't know what her name. So yeah, I'm like, so yeah, no, I'm really sorry about everything. You know, it wasn't serious. Ha ha ha. Not like she ruined her life for four years. And that's when the 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 fiance is supposed to say, actually. But he can't because the big brother is out. And so the big brother, by the way. He's like, wait, what's going on? You called her all the way here just for her to apologize for some like school, like school, school conflict. Like, aren't you guys too? Isn't that too like too much? Like, he doesn't know. So he's like, oh, they had a fight in school. Like, what is that supposed to be? Like, you call her like the big sister. You call her all the way here so she can apologize. So now the younger looks like the whiny girl who's like, oh my gosh, she needs to apologize to me, even though the problem is much bigger. But in one sentence, she just like, she made sure to speak before everybody else. And that's, and they, she knew why she, they didn't tell the brother. So she was like, whoop, let me swoop in, tell my version of the story so that if they call me a liar, they're considered rude. If they try to get me to apologize, they're considered rude. If they, they contest what I'm saying, rude, everything rude, rude, rude. Well, at this point, you're already rude now because you already called me here. Yeah, but when you I'm know, not supposed to Right they're not the thinking roots. about they're not saying it's too late they're saying let's try to minimize the damage okay and i knew it was accurate because even the mcs were like ah oh, yeah, the uh, yeah 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 but so the ladies were very like oh my god this is so unfair but they were like ah oh, but the big brother so that's how you know like <gasps> okay my western brain cannot comprehend i'm Bruh. sorry i'm sorry my okay. senegalese brain I understand. Oh no. Not that I agree, but I understand. No. Oh, even my Guinean blood is like no. Yeah, but it's not the same. I'm saying I've seen it in my family. Chicharu? Yes. So I'm saying. Uh, me, it never happened to me, but I've seen it. I've and seen trust conflicts. And believe. Between, I've seen conflicts within the family. I remember telling brothers. my mom, I wish it was me. Try me. Try me. Because me, I might be Senegalese, but that Senegalese man is not all the way there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wait. wish the bitch would. That's insane. And you have the nerve to be sitting here and smiling in my... I would lose it. <laughs> I think I would have... But again, you're thinking about it from the mind of someone who's never been bullied. So you're pretty confident in yourself, right? I would lose this it. This is someone the, who doesn't the... even know how to I'm talk. I'm not saying her. Her, I understand entirely that she's freezing right mm -hmm. now. I'm saying the guy. Oh, the guy, she doesn't even have the power to be the one in, in mad right now because he's not even the family right now. <clears throat> the guy should be the one fighting right but now. But you know what's mad? It didn't transpire in the show, but that's just my thinking. If he wasn't there, is he ever going to be able to comprehend the severity of it? Because when wow. everybody, especially your big brother that you look up to so much, everybody's like, oh, it was just some quarreling in school. 
You saw the you're reaction. Gonna, no. You saw yeah, the switch up. You should know. If you, you know saw, your girl. Yeah. You're about to get married to this woman. Yeah, you, you know. know. You saw the switch. You're like, okay, what's up? It's not something like, huh, she stole my pen. No. Girl, girl, please. Please. So, yeah. Her Especially whole knowing, thing... knowing the situation of bullying in Korea. You know it can happen. Then what? Hey. So her whole thing was, I can't stay in this, I don't want to stay in this family. Insane. I love my boyfriend, but I can't stay in this family. What should I do? What would you do? Uh, if the guy is not doing anything, I'm leaving. I what mean, I think say? he will still try to protect her though. And but how? Clearly he cannot even talk. Like... Well, the thing is, we don't know what happened. It stopped there when the, that was the whole dilemma because the guy clearly was trying to open up a conversation, but then they got cut off by this bitch but that's who lied. Saying, if that's enough for you to stop the fight, mm. Then I don't trust you to actually have my back. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but you've been together like four years plus. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. But it, it will break my heart. But I don't trust you to actually defend me. You don't defend me. The and MCs th um, advised her. What did they say they should do? Uh, they were saying to basically cut off. Get married. Cut off contact with but the family. It's even worse. And only see the parents. It's even worse. Uh, yeah. You see the parents. You see the husband. But you don't want to see her. That's what I would do. Because I'm not... I'm, what I think is, I am not letting you no, it's not destroy about, my marriage. I don't think it's about that. It's more about like, if you do this, you're asking of a... Your, boyfriend, a your, of... your fiancé is asking you, cut off your, your ties with your brother. Because he's gonna marry a bitch. But no, he doesn't have to cut off. I just don't have to see her. My husband can do whatever he wants. Ah, and so we can, can see meet? each other on Chusak, we can see each other on Solar. I know what I'm saying. And I don't need to see you ever again. But so you still see her. Yeah, it's but like a minimum. It's re relieving it's the, trauma yeah, every year. Yeah, yeah. It's <sighs> absolutely unbelievable. So I was really shook. And let us know how you feel about this and what you would do. Let us know how you feel the, and how it's in you your do? country. In your country. What would you do? I don't even know what to if I'm If I'm about to get married, I'm not leaving my man. But depends on what he home? does. Depends on what he does. Depends on the relationship they have with the family. Do they actually meet all the or time? Or if he's like a mama's boy. I'm saying, then he can be in between. What? You, ah! You're gonna have to pick one. It's me or Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm... You say when you... The blood boiling? Yes. I told yes! you. Yes! I'm, I'm pissed right now. Okay. So anyway, yeah. let us know in the comments what you feel. And we'll see you next time.